Hello and welcome to my tutorial, I mean like, short intro to my tutorials of computer science. So let's get started, guys. Ga g guys. Okay. So, I'm gonna point this out and get things straight. Computer science is not a new subject, okay? People get this confused and say, oh, computer science is a new subject because computers are new and everything. That is wrong, actually. The science of sequencing instructions and developing algorithms has been around since the 17th century, actually. Um, um, this man called, like, Gottfried Wilhelm Le Le Leibniz, uh, stepped Reckner, a mechanical counting machine built in 1872. Actually, 1672. Sorry, that's even earlier than 1872. So, computer science is not a new subject, okay? It's just that much has changed since then. Uh, computers no longer fill entire buildings. Well, servers do, but computers do not fill entire buildings like basements and everything. Well, like supercomputers do, of course. But, of course, we're not going to get near there, so... Uh, they no longer fill entire buildings, and indeed, it is often the case that we don't even notice computers at work. You know how, like, CCTV cameras, like, look at you, that's ca that's a computer. Everything, you walk around, your fridge, everything, it, there's computers in them. Y you hardly even notice it, okay? So, basically, oh, come on, man. So basically, computers have become embedded to us, okay? It's embedded in our everyday lives, and so easy to use that we've stopped thinking about how they actually work. Okay, like, people nowadays, technology has is like killing humans right now, and people are so stupid and they don't really know how it works, so... What this series aims to do is to teach you the fundamentals and principles of a computer and computer science and how to solve problems. And instead of searching on Facebook and looking at your newsfeed, it's your turn to create that, not you. Like searching up that bull, bull crap and people liking everything. You're going to have that. And after that, you're going to feel like you have superpowers or something. So it, it's a great knowledge to have. And, of course, the series do not teach programming, okay? It just teaches the theory and the art of computer science. Uh, if you want to learn programming, I have other series of Java and like C and C++ and Python all there. You can go check those out if you want to learn programming. But I actually think you should first watch these series before you start programming because you will have a basic knowledge of computers and the science in general. So, yeah. I hope you liked that. It's that was just a short intro to my series, and I'll be going through a lot, a lot of subjects, um, things with computer science, like networking, and like data representation, and like hardware and software, and much more. And I hope you liked that. And please subscribe, and see you guys next time.